sales dog in the morning. General Mills and make a profit, you get the lower rate. If you sell real estate and make a profit, you get the lower rate. But basically, that's just a change of ownership and doesn't make much contribution to economic growth or job creation. So it sounds like economists are saying that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that uh, this kind of income, investment income, is taxed at a lower rate than regular wages and salaries. That's right. And in fact, the difference between the 15% capital gains rate and the top 35% for ordinary income encourages people to create tax shelters that actually allow them to claim their income as capital gains. And those tax shelters produce a huge amount of inefficient economic activity. Yay. In the past, things like investing in office buildings that stand empty or city people buying tractors. Not to mention you have very smart people creating tax dodges and they could be inventing more useful things that actually do create jobs. And it's become but a hot button issue on the campaign trail, but is there they any don't. interest politically in uh, changing <clears throat> the tax provisions? Why don't I don't think we have any critical mass politically, but there's a good deal of agreement that the tax rate on investment income should be the same yeah, as some stupid traffic. Uh, the president's bipartisan deficit reduction panel suggests that as part of its budget reforms. Of course, there's also a lot of interest in keeping this rate low by some very powerful people, so I wouldn't hold my breath. NPR's economics correspondent, John Itzee. John, thank you for talking with us. You're welcome, honey.